everybody, James Sabalski for EA Sports. The journey started for the Hurricanes in Hartford, Connecticut, and they have built themselves into a Stanley Cup winning franchise here in Raleigh. The Hurricanes kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. Oh, a clutch save! Georgiev's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. Look at this, they got some bodies here on the attack. Dismiss that chance. Burns has it in the defensive end. Thunderous hit check on the play. Tries to get the puck over to Drouin. Colorado's on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. to be feeling good about themselves. They have been pushing and pushing to start this one. James, they're emotionally charged as they're at home, they're playing their opponent, and they started right from puck drop, and that emotion was transferred or channeled into their feet because they've been all over the ice with their legs under them. Manson's taking the puck behind the net. Carolina's got control of it now from the road end. Into the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a body and a ride. Up along the wing. Moves into the slot. That's blocked. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Oh, what a hit. He got all of that hip check. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a stretch pass to O'Connor. Puts it on net. Just slide to the net. That's not going to fool him. McKinnon's hard to shove off the puck. That's his unstoppable fourth zone ability. Aho's third eye zone ability means he can distribute the puck so well. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. Natchez plays it now. Bunting's got it on the offensive end. Play is called for offside. Past the halfway mark of this period. Carolina's up one zip. The Avs win possession here in the open ice. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Picks up the puck. Jabs the puck away. Colorado's got it along the wall. Can't connect on the shot. And now he moves it to Johansson. A transfer front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. Looking to set up offensively. And that doesn't reach the net. And he takes a shot. Takes the puck. Takes a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Here's a short pass to McCarr. Takes it at center. Quick shot. And that carries right off the mask. Well, no smelling salts needed here. He's shaking it off as he takes from him the cage. He made the save, so that's going to make him pretty happy. And that's knocked away. Oh, scores! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They've got to find a way to continue with the pressure. We went relentless and trying to get another one. Always hated it when you went to practice the next day and you were exposed in the video room, James. And this is what's going to happen here because it is a lack of coverage in their own zone. You cannot wander away from the middle of the ice. And because they're so puck focused, they give up a prime time scoring chance. And guess what? As a result, there's a goal. Carolina's double 
build up on their lead here in the late stages of the first, and that's got to be a real backbreaker at the other end of the ice here. Especially to make it a two-goal deficit at the end of the first period, James. I mean, this carries all the momentum with you into the intermission. Just got to find a way to continue that pace, continue that energy to start the second. Poked away in the neutral zone by Pesci. Inside the final minute of the first here. And he stopped that one. Quick feed to cut Kaniemi. Huge steal in his own end. Fires it on net. There you go. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Avs are fortunate that this game is close, James. I mean, they've had way too many turnovers and terrible blue line decisions. They need to shore that up if they want to get back in this game. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Makes the save again. The Hurricanes will play it in their own end. Passes the puck over to Svechnikov. Chance in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck picked up by McKinnon. Grabs the puck. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. A feed out front. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Here's a shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Shays into the offensive zone now on the attack. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Good use of the body on the play. Puck scooped up by Natchez. Takes the puck with the stop. Tries to feed it over to Pesci. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And now he tries to get it across to Colton. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Takes the feed. Takes a shot. Moves the puck to Martinick. Hammers one. That was amazing. What a save by Georgiev. And now it's grabbed by Chatfield. Gives them nothing in front. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get. And he challenges. He's set, ready. Breakaway. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I love how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Moves it on over to Rantanen. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Manson. With the blast! And that's blocked. Great reach with the poke check by Orla. Goes right to the crease! He scores! Miko ranted it! That's a hard shot. The goaltender looks like he was just getting to position, gets a piece of it, but it still goes in. The Avs get the break they need here late in the second. Sometimes when it gets late in a period, you have more urgency in your step, and they were certainly more aggressive in that last shift, and it showed them they attacked the net. Puck grab by O'Connor. Hammers a shot, drops in with the glove. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Here in the late goings of the period, 
Colorado's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, tough timing to take a penalty at the end of a period. You want to make sure that you can reset and regroup. But first things first, you've got to kill the penalty. The Hurricanes will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. And they'll start with possession. Cuts up with a stop. Ajo's ready to take the draw here on this power play. There's the buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. And we've got period number three next. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. The Avs start with possession here as they open up shorthanded. Feeds the puck to Cogliano. From the point, they take control of it. Taken by Gerard. Here's a shot. And he comes up with a glove save. The Avs have it behind the net. Off a stick and they can't connect. Carolina's got the puck in the defensive end. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Snaps one on net. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Slick feed. Sends it out in front. Georgiev's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. Manson's got it in the offensive zone. Takes the puck at the point. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty. So now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be the task. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Here's a chance. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Here comes the official decision. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Puck picked up by McKinnon. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Rantanen. Here's a shot. Great save. Svechnikov's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded, and he joins the kill. Scooped up along the wall by Drouin. Oh, oh, and we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has their most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tie the game. Well, this 
power play will show up in the video room tomorrow. There's no question about that because it had it all. Puck movement, motion, and urgency on retrieval, which I think is absolutely critical. Yes, got to start with the puck. You want to find a way to get the shot to the net, and it winds up in the back of it. Colorado's not messing around. Look at that effort in the offensive zone, and as a result, we're tied up. Well, that's been their playground today, but they just haven't been able to convert until now where they get the equalizer. You can see the opportunities that they've had, and finally, they take advantage. Cuts into the paint! Oh, denies them with the paddle save! Well, players should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Dishes it to McCarr. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Let's it fly. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Nice poke check. The Hurricanes move it ahead. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Picked up along the wall by Drury. The Avs look to start the transition game. Grabbed in the open ice by Svechnikov. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, and it just stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. And he takes the pass. Oh, what a play to hang on. Well, he disrupts the coverage with that move, and now he's got open ice available. Puck scooped up by Aho. Drives to the paint. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Johansson. The Hurricanes will play the puck from behind the net. Gaining momentum along the wing. And now it's grabbed by Aho. Good hit to bump him off the puck. The Avs have it now. Right on the doorstep. Grabbed along the board by Parisi. Puck grabbed by Johansson. And that's knocked away by Chatfield. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck. But they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot. And that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. That's it. A big face off here inside the offensive end. On the backhand, big stop just as time expires in the period. Well, there you go. We played 60 minutes of regulation hockey, and we still don't have a decisive winner, so we're going to get a little bonus time. It's overtime. Buckle up. Get ready, because OT is next. One will win, one will lose. Overtime will tell the story. The puck is dropped. Call it now. Who's the OT hero? Taken by Aho. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Let's get the call. Everyone has a role on the team, and this PK unit right now in overtime has to do a job if they want to remain in the game. Carolina's got a four-on-three power play, and time is clearly on their side. What a time in this game. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. The Avs will kill off a few extra seconds now. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Burns. Oh, the save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. There's the whistle. We've got it offside.
As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And here's the pass to Cogliano. Deflected away, 